New York City DEP has maintained that there are simply no other options available but to release highly turbid water into the lower Sopus or to keep the Ashokan Reservoir at unsafe levels. If releases into the lower Sopus had received permits to release directly into the Hudson River, avoiding damage to 32 miles of pristine trout stream running through seven Ulster County communities, into their system the ability to bypass the lower Sopus and discharge directly into the Hudson River. He confirmed that it does. The Hudson River release chamber, if made operational, would allow for the removal of turbid water from the Ashokan Reservoir through a direct release from the Catskill Aqueduct into the Hudson River below the drinking water intake for multiple communities along the Hudson River avoiding polluting the lower Sopus. To learn that there may well have been alternatives not fully vetted. In addition, what else haven't they told us? And when was the decision made to pollute the lower Sopus rather than to use the Hudson River release chamber for their own purposes flies in the face of their responsibility not only to the people of Ulster County but to the residents of New York City as well. But in addition to that, this report that lists alternatives never discusses the Hudson River drainage chamber. We're talking about negatively impacting an enormous amount of people along the lower Esopus, doing damage to our environment, 32 miles long, when there may well have been a solution 32 feet away. And some of our working groups that uh, these kinds of things may be out there. Also, there's been discussions with people who have been uh, seeing the operations of the reservoir for literally 50 years uh, and some of the conversations have come through them as well but the full confirmation of this came